possible that Americans could be addicted to looking beautiful? Take a look at what I mean. In an average month, I'd spend $50 to $100 on makeup, another $100 on shoes and accessories. Hair straightening, $300, face cream, about $150 a month. Tanning's $100 a month also. I have teeth whitening, $20 a month. For my hair, I spend about $300 on getting it done. I work in a salon and I see people come in spend $500 every other week. Everything you can imagine just for your lunch. Are we obsessed with beauty? Oh, yeah. yeah, but yeah I'm sure we are. Obsessed with how we Absolutely. look. It makes us feel better about themselves. If you get your teeth cleaned, whitened, if you get a new hairdo, I mean, that's natural. Yeah, yeah but, but I think there's so it's, much, it's so much not, of it. You yeah. know, almost everywhere you go, billboards, checking out at the grocery store is all about you know how you look, whose looks this way, who changed their look. And even, even when you're young, in grade school, you're teased if you don't look a certain way. I mean, how far is too far, though? I think when you're spending rent money on this stuff, mm -hmm. you know, when you're putting your health at risk, then you've crossed the line. I mean, that's just crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we also have to change the mindset because a lot of men, it's okay for them to age, but for women, it's, it's, it's not as acceptable. I mean, so that's why women are always chasing that mm -hmm. age factor yeah. and trying to do anything, you know, hide the grays, hide the wrinkles. It's, 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 it's major change work. Change your hairdo. Yeah, it's major work. In the end, I guess beauty is like any other potential addiction. There is a point at which you cross beyond it, it becomes a problem. So beauty is fine, but if you're addicted to it, take a look in the mirror and figure out if you're spending way too much money and way too much time worrying about it.